Hi everybody, I know I'm a couple minutes early, um, but I just was sitting here and staring, so I figured I'd just start early. Um, that way it gives you guys kind of some time to join us. Um, so today, this is not a tutorial, I guess, I don't know, it'll probably turn into one because that's how all of my videos go. So. I got a whole bunch of these when I was looking for my wedding. My goal was to have a um, wedding, like a glass at each table setting. Well, I'm cheap and that didn't work. So I bought a some of these and they've been sitting and I just haven't had time to do anything with them and they're just taking up space. So I am getting ready to do a lot of craft fairs and everything for the summer. Um, and for the fall, so I figured I'll just work on this little stuff in between my bigger projects. So this is what I was up to today, um, is working on some little odds and ends, and I just figured I'd go live um, just to show you guys what I'm up to. So I did do a bigger project. I'm going to unplug you again. I don't know why I do this. I always start with this. Okay. So I did do this bigger project today. It turned out pretty good. This is an old window. Uh, one side of the glass was broken, as you can see, and the other side was still in, and it was cracked almost like the whole way down here. So what I did is I just took it all apart, took all of the little uh, attachments and everything off, and then I sanded it down just a tiny bit to scuff it up because it did have a little bit of a shine to it, and then I started painting it. So I just used almost like a cream color on it and then after I did the cream color it um, it was dry so then I went over with it with sandpaper and everything. Um, this side here I do have a plan for, it's just not done yet, I was going to run to uh, Tractor Supply today and I just haven't yet so <laughs> this side eventually will be, um, I guess it's chicken wire or chicken coop wire, whatever you want to call it. I'm going to spray paint it black and put it in there. Um, that way you can have like little photos and stuff hanging off of it. But this side is a chalkboard and it was an old window. I just figured I'd share that today with you guys. That's what I was working on this morning when I was bored. You can see it still has its, hopefully you guys can see, I can't tell where I'm pointing this. There we go. It still has its old hinges and everything and I, I just didn't want to get rid of those. I thought they looked so pretty on there. So I just kind of left them on there. All right. So that was what I was working on this morning. And I'm just gonna give it a little bit more time because I know I said I was going live at 4.30 and right now I have zero viewers. So I figured I'd just kind of talk until 4.30. <laughs> so I'm gonna sit here. I have some stickers I gotta pull off of these cups. I'm just gonna start doing that. I just had that all set up and decided to take it down. Okay, there we go. All right. I put these, I save uh, packaging like stuff because then that way I make a mess when I paint. So that way nothing in my house gets dirty or paint all over it. I just save the packaging stuff we get chewy for my dog. So that's kind of what I paint on. I have like a big stack of them folded upstairs because it's kind of. What I use is my little drop cloths, but anyway, so, oh, got two on here now. Sorry guys, I'm a little early. So I know you didn't log on here when I first started talking. Uh, uh, today I just kind of was doing odds and ends things that I had sitting around just to get out of here. I'm going to be doing some um, festivals and stuff and running out of table, so I figured might as well just get working on this stuff now. I'd rather have it setting than rushing last minute. So I had a whole bunch of these cool looking vintage glasses, which I personally love the color of these. <laughs> but you can find these at like Goodwill, any store, secondhand store. You could probably find hundreds of them and cheap too. I got a whole bunch of them for my wedding and I just never used them. So they've been sitting here. And I'm just going to struggle. Of course I picked the one with the sticker on it. I have, I only have like 20 of them. Did you finish your bone already? Hmm? Can you say hi? 
she is looking for more treats. She's she's gonna be needy during this video. I have a feeling. I don't. I don't have anything sitting here. What do you want? You're fine. I gave you your bone a couple minutes ago. You ate it all. You're gonna get fat. Yeah. I try to give her a big bone every time I do these videos to keep her busy, but it doesn't seem to work very long. About not even three minutes and she's done with it. No. You're not getting any more. <laughs> Just staring at me. <laughs> okay, I'm gonna try to do this video, but I have a feeling she's not gonna cooperate with me today. Alright, so now that I'm almost getting this whole sticker off of here, it's just irritating me. I'm about to just go get another glass. Okay, come on. But anyway, so this is what they're gonna look like after I'm done with them. I am using chalk paint today. Um, one of my favorite things to use. I had some extra chalk paint laying around. So this is what it's gonna look like. <laughs> so pretty. A lot prettier than this. So you're fine. No. Oh my. All right. So I got most of that off. I'm gonna call it. I think it's good enough. I just have like the sticky residue on here. That probably took up enough time until four almost a couple minutes away. All right. So anyway, I'm just gonna start. That's fine on there. It shouldn't, we're painting over it. If anything, it'll help the paint stick better. All right. So I first did, what I love about chalk paint, let me start with this, is it is awesome to layer. So if you like that rustic feel, this is the stuff to do and to use. It's amazing. You get the layered effect and it's so, so easy and it dries really, really quick. So I'm going to do my first layer, which was the gray. I am using, I got this actually as a gift from one of my coworkers for my birthday. I think she got me like a couple different colors of chalk paint. This is Walmart's brand, Waverly. Sorry, my paint can is a disaster. But it's Waverly and it's called Steel. So if you guys like these colors that I'm using today, this is gray Waverly Steel from Walmart. And this here is from Michaels. This is Home Decor Chalk Folk Art Laney Quilt. Um, so this one here is a really pretty color too. I guess it's called Sheepskin. Never really noticed that before. But yeah, Sheepskin. It's right there. So that's a pretty color as well. It almost looks more white on here than what the bottle shows. I don't remember mixing anything in here and I don't think I did. So. That's, that's what it is, and as you can tell, the top of my paint can, I, I'm so messy with this, but that's, that's a really pretty color. It's like an off-white. All right, so I'm going to do my first coat of gray, and I am using the chip brushes. I get these at uh, Harbor Freight. That's my favorite place to shop other than Lowe's and Home Depot, but Harbor Freight has them in a pack of like... 20 I think for like 12 bucks so they're pretty cheap all right so when you're painting glass you do want to layer your first like undercoat of chalk paint pretty pretty good you don't want to just you know as you see like they'll just kind of do a dusting on glass it is a little bit harder so you do want to do a thicker layer of it as you can see I'll just show you here if I would spread this a little bit thinner you're just gonna keep seeing the glass through there and I don't want to paint it a billion times, so. All right, I'm going to layer it on there pretty good. And if you guys have any questions or anything um, when I'm, on what I'm using, or if you log in late and want to know what's going on, or on time, because I really started early with this one today, <laughs> just ask. I'll respond. This is kind of my just randomly painting today and decided to log on and show you guys what I'm up to. All right. I'll keep going here. Now the chalk paint does take a little bit longer to dry on glass, I've noticed. Just from using it on glass, I've noticed it doesn't 
um, dry as quick. And I didn't scuff this or anything. Chalk paint sticks to pretty much anything. I didn't use any type of um, enamel or anything either, as you can tell. So I'm just gonna paint that. And it doesn't have to be perfect. You want that rustic look. And my favorite colors are like white, grays, black. So a lot of the stuff I'm doing, unless it's like special ordered, I am doing a lot of grays and whites. <laughs> I just love the look of that. I need to expand my variety of colors though, I do. I That's something that's hard for me to do because it's just, I, I'm not a colorful person, I don't know. I like my, my boring whites and grays with a pop of color, don't get me wrong. Like I like the green mixed in and, and stuff like that, but I do like my whites and grays. All right, I'm just gonna do this. And I'll probably do two of these while I'm on here because this is going pretty quickly actually. I have a tray I wanted to do too. So I'll do this one first and then maybe I'll do, I have another tray here setting that I wanted to get done today. It's sad because I went and made a YouTube channel for my videos um, last night. And I uploaded the videos and I'm, I was so excited. I'm like, oh good, I'll have a YouTube channel now and maybe I'll get lucky <laughs> and start getting paid. Um, but I don't see that happening. But I uploaded these videos and this little alert went off in the corner and it said uh, something about um, pretty much like it was a term for you can't make money off of these because they're copyrighted. I'm like, okay, I, I made them, it's it's me in the video, what's copyrighted? Well here it's because I had music on in the background and I guess YouTube picks up on that. So I had to shut off my music while I'm doing these or else YouTube kind of doesn't agree with that. So it's sad. If you hear me humming, it's because I'm so used to having noise in the background when I'm working on stuff. It's driving me crazy right now. She just wants to be part of this today, so I'm just gonna let her be part of it. <laughs> She's just gonna keep nudging me. Helene, huh, you had your bone already, you're good. All right, so the gray coat is pretty, you know, pretty good. That's up to you if you wanna paint the bottom. I don't, only because if you're putting this like on a table or somewhere and if you, you know, kind of rub it against there, that paint might come off on there, even if it's dry. So I'm not going to paint the bottom of it. I have my favorite thing here, the higher dryer, just to dry this real quick. So sorry about the noise. I just gotta see her face while I'm doing this. <laughs> What's wrong, Lane?
I think that's pretty good. I just don't want it to, when you're touching it, it shouldn't come off on your finger. Now don't like rub it or anything because then it might start peeling off. I don't know if it's 100% dry. I know it's not in that spot. I see that like a clump there. I'm just gonna fix it with my finger. There we go. Okay. dry it's still not 100% dry but it should be okay it's pretty dry to the touch just ignore that that was old stuff on my finger but it's pretty good I think so I will go ahead and start my white all right now this is a harder coat I shouldn't say harder it's not really none of it's hard but this is where you don't want your brush completely in the white or cream or whatever paint. You don't wanna drench it in there because then you're not going to get that rustic brush look. You're just gonna get straight white. So that's why this paint can is probably all messed up at the top because I keep going like this. So I'm just gonna dip it in a tiny bit. Just the very end of it here. And just get a tiny bit on my end. And I'm just going to kind of start, I'm gonna hold it by this so you guys can see. Um, it doesn't matter where you start. You just kind of wanna brush it on there. There's no rhyme or reason to this. So this is kind of like hard for me to even explain. You're just gonna go back and forth there just to give it that little bit of rustic paint or rustic look here. Okay. And if you see a spot that you missed with the gray, like I missed one right in here, you can just go over with the white. No one's gonna ever know. And it's hidden underneath there. I'm gonna keep going back and forth there. I hope you guys can kind of see here. I'm trying to hold it so you can. There we go. I'm gonna turn it a little bit. So this is a fairly easy project. There's not really much to it. I just like to share what I'm up to. And it just depends on how much of this you want. You can do a real light coat, you can do it real heavy. It doesn't matter, just up to you, however you wanna do it. There's no right or wrong way. And don't get scared, just do it. Like, I know a couple of times I've, I don't know how many times I've sat there and looked at a project and I'm like, okay, how should I do this? How do I make it perfect? Don't do that, because then it's just not gonna look good at the end. You're gonna kinda freak yourself out and you're gonna wonder why it looks crappy if you're done with it. You overthink it, and I'm good for that. Recently, I've gotten a little bit better, but I'm good for overthinking stuff. All right, so I'm just doing really light over top of here. And if there's any spots that you see that you kinda of wanna go back, like here, I don't like how much white's there. I'm gonna go back and hit, hit it with a little bit more gray here in a little while after this is dry because I don't like all that white clump together. Okay. And then I'm just gonna carry that the whole way up the cup. Now, I would not, if you're doing or thinking about doing this at home with one of your glasses, 
I would not drink out of these. Don't put them in the dishwasher. I don't know how safe it is to be drinking out of something that has chalk paint on it. Uh, I'm not going to use these to drink out of. They're just decoration. Just gonna put that out there because you never know. Yes, Lainey? So I am down to like the stem and the bottom of this. So I'm going to kind of flip it. The easiest way for me to do this is kind of on the table here. I don't know if you guys, I'm going to angle this down a little bit better so you can kind of see what I'm doing. And like I said, no rhyme or reason. Just painting that a little bit white here, getting the white coat on it. There we go. As you can see it looks really pretty and rustic-y now so I have my set here now I did do the inside of this one if it was just for me at home I probably wouldn't even have done the inside of them but I did on these just because I'm going to be selling them and I want them to look very nice for any type of decoration somebody wants to use them for so I did kind of coat the inside of this to match the outside just so you know if somebody does want to just leave it open like that it doesn't look bad it matches so I'm just gonna go ahead and let this dry and I'll come back and do the inside of that and for the inside I just used the cream I didn't put the gray in it or anything I just made it cream or you could do it gray it doesn't matter or any color that you want to use you could use all right so since I just have the gray and cream out. I'm just going to use that to do my next thing here. I'm going to move this out of the way. All right, so those were the cups and I'll post pictures of them later too after I'm done with all this along with this video just in case you missed it and if you're just joining me now I'm just going to move on to my next little project here. So I got this tray I think the same place I got those cups. I think it was like at a garage sale or something. But this little tray is so cute. I couldn't pass it up. It looks really awesome. And it's already, sorry, my dog's drinking. Just gonna give her a second. You good back here? Okay. So anyway, you can already see it kind of has some things on it, some stuff on it. So. It's been sitting in my pile waiting to be flipped. So it is kind of dusty, so I am going to take my little tack cloth that I used in my other video the other day, and I am just gonna kind of run it over and get all that dust and grime off of there just so I don't have it in my pot paint. This is a hard thing to wipe down with one of these because my tack cloth keeps getting stuck on these little signs up here. Okay. I might just... I kind of like the cream and the brown together, so I think I'm just going to use this brown as my base color because I kind of like that. So... We're just going to stick with that one instead of painting it all gray and then doing the white. I think it'll look better with some brown in it. Right. Okay, looks pretty good. Alrighty, so I'm going to get my little chip brush and my chalk paint. And this stuff's it's not too thick, so I think we should be okay trying to think here. I'm going to actually do the inside of it first. It'll just be easier. And like I said, I'm a very messy painter, so don't judge me. So the paint 
does not have to go on perfect because I'm going to end up sanding it just a tiny bit anyway, just to give it the rustic feel. I do a lot of sanding instead of layering. Uh, the only thing I do layering it on is stuff like the cups, stuff that isn't really good with the sanding and everything. I'm, a, I'm definitely like a sanding person. So if I like the base color of something, that's when I choose to sand it instead of layering. And you could technically just brush over it like that. That's fine. But um, I don't know. I don't, I don't really like doing that. I just think it looks better this way. You're not, you know, if you do overlap it, it doesn't look like crap. And I want more white on it than that, so I guess it'll look good. It'll cover all the walls of the actual piece here. This is killing me without any music on today. Ugh, I don't like it. You guys are gonna hear me whining about it for a little bit. <laughs> okay. Making sure everything's pretty coated there. Make sure there's nothing crazy in it. Looks pretty good. Okay. So that was just the inside of it. It does not have to be perfect. So we're gonna go back. I'm going to put some texture into it. All right, so I'm just going to start on the sides here. I'm not going to use as much paint on the sides. I don't feel like it needs it with all of that. Um, detail and everything. Okay. I know this looks sloppy right now, but I promise it won't in the end. It'll look nice. <laughs> So what I'm doing is I want more of the white to show instead of the brown. So that is why I'm not just dusting it on here. There is a reason for that. Is anybody working on anything? I only have one viewer right now. If you guys are working on any projects or anything, feel free to post them like on the comments or whatever. I would love to see what you guys are up to, what you're working on. I am going to have more tutorials coming up on actual things that are scheduled to do instead of just these boring me painting videos, but I figure if I'm doing it anyway, I might as well just get on here and open it up to everybody so you can see what I'm up to. And um, if you have any questions, you know, maybe you're working on something like I'm working on right now. So please feel free to ask. I'm pretty easy going. I'll answer pretty much anything that I can anyway. excited to see this one after it's done. I've been just kind of staring at it. It was on my coffee table for a while, just holding some papers. So I'm actually just been excited to do this one. Give it a new look. I don't know 
and what's on this table, but this is, you know, half of it's off. That's why it keeps rocking on me. Couldn't figure it out there for a second. quiet on Facebook tonight. Jeez, I usually have like 20 some comments going on. It's quiet. Everybody must be enjoying the sunshine if you live around Johnstown, Pennsylvania today. You don't get it very often. I think it's still pretty cold out there though. Okay. A little bit more in here. This side just doesn't match the rest, so I'm just gonna add a tiny bit more. A little bit darker, or a little bit whiter, I should say. And I know I look like a two-year-old probably holding this brush right now. It's just hard to get it in where I need it. So you guys are probably logging on and it's like, what is this lady doing? And she's like, she thinks she knows how to paint and she's like holding it like a two-year-old. Looks like I'm trying to use a fork for the first first time in my life or something. Okay. making sure I don't have any crazy um, stuff there. All right, so the outside will be next, but I'm going to let this dry so I don't get my hands in the paint like I've already done a couple of times because I don't need to make any more of a mess than what I'm making. All right, I'm gonna get my lovely hair dryer and I'm just gonna dry it. Okay. dryer is dying on me it's very very sad this thing's like 10 years old oh, okay so that's pretty dry and my next step is to I'm just gonna scuff it up a little bit I know it sounds funny I just put the paint on but now I'm gonna sand it again um just to get more of the brown through it I wanted it more white than brown but I kind of now want a little bit more brown around the edges so I'm gonna go grab a piece of sandpaper because I always forget one thing I either drop something or I forget something and today of course I forgot something and I'm sure I'll be dropping something too all right so just give me one minute here kept you guys busy while I was gone for a minute. All right, so I'm just gonna kind of scuff this up a little bit. I'm gonna do the inside first. This will give it, oh, I'm like way off over here. Let me scoot over a little bit, okay. There we go. And this will kind of just even it out a little bit too, especially that it's a tray. Um, let me just make it look nicer. Thank you. 
put some butter here. So I'm just going to kind of go against my paintbrush strokes. I can kind of see them in here really good. And I don't know if it's just because it's, this is metal maybe. I'm not liking it. She's just being terrible today. Okay, so I'm going to take this and kind of just scuff this up, make it look a little bit nicer here. My goal is to get that inner, I know it's hard for you guys to see when I'm doing this, but to get this inner line if you look at this because I got to do the outside yet this kind of comes into maybe there we go the upper side and then there's the corner here so I'm trying to get this line going on the upper side here to give it that little bit of a rustic edge I'm just going to rotate it. I'm going to do the same thing here to these. I'll actually move this so you guys can kind of see what I'm doing here. That's kind of hard where, where I'm at. Okay. There we go. Okay. So I did it on this side here. You can kind of see how it is, of course. I'm going to put my camera down too low. All right, so on this side here, you can kind of see how it's outlined a little bit there, and you're getting your corner in there. So that's what I'm doing. That's my goal here for this. It's going to sand. Get that outside edge. There we go. So I'm sanding this first instead of doing the outer edge of it. Just because I want to make sure um, first that I like it, make sure I don't need to repaint or touch up. And then if there is anything I need to repaint or touch up, I can do it when I do the outside. Thank you. 
pretty good. Okay, so a lot cooler now than it was as boring and brown before. Alright, so I'm just going to kind of tilt you guys back up here a little bit and I'm going to take my tack cloth. Um, there's so much dust sitting on here for me sanding this right now. So I'm going to take my tack cloth over it real quick just to make sure that it looks okay. Make sure I don't need to do any more sanding here. And because I'm going to be painting the outside of it also, which we don't want this dust getting into that paint on the outside. of it out. Just carrying my tack cloth up. All right. So as you can see, when I wipe that down, you can see that a lot better there. It looks so pretty. All right. This camera doesn't do it justice. I'm not digging this camera on here today at all because it's a lot prettier in person than what I'm showing you right now. Okay. So I'm going to go ahead. I'm not going to do the bottom of this because if I do the bottom, if you set it on a table or something just like the cups, I don't want you to get paint on your table. And of course the stickers are on it still. Okay. So, I'm just going to flip it. And again, get my lovely little paint here. My cream paint. And I'll paint this so you guys can kind of see here. There we go. Alright, so I'm just going to real lightly... And the one thing you do have to be careful with, because I was running into this here when I was sanding, if I just take this over all this, you're going to have runs because all that paint's gathering up on that. So I didn't notice that until I started sanding. I'm trying to watch the video and you guys here too. Alright. Get that top piece first. Can't really see here. I'm gonna use my edge of my brush. Good. I keep seeing people log on real quick to check out what I'm doing and <laughs> logging off. They're probably like, eh, nah, it doesn't look too fun. done there so I'm going to tilt it on here now don't mind the bottom of this just easier for you guys to see this way I'm just gonna run this over here I'm gonna try and eh, this might be kind of hard for me to do I'm gonna flip it this way I'm counting down until I stick my hand in that paint that I just did okay all right that's better so I can kind of see what I'm doing there we go Alright, so right in there, you can kind of see how all that paint is starting to kind of clump up there. Let me get in there and get around that. I'm going to stand up so I can see what I'm doing. Instead of being lazy and sitting, right? If you guys um, saw my post with all the white decor on my table back here, this is pretty much what I did with it. A lot of it was more white than cream though, but I pretty much just kind of ran my brush over it, roughed it up a little bit, 
And that was kind of easy, easy way to refinish something. There we go. All right. So outside there is done. And that side's dry already, so that's good. Just going to rotate it and get this done. about going live with live with this today this is about about a half an hour after I posted about going live with this that my mom called me or texted me and she's like oh hey we're thinking about running to Somerset they have like a new little I guess it's like a secondhand shop and I was like oh are you kidding me I'm like I can't because I now promised all my people that I'd be going live at 4 30 so I guess I don't need any more stuff laying around my house though, so this is a good thing. It's keeping me from getting more crap that I need to refinish. <laughs> Alright, that looks pretty good there. Alright, last, last outside edge here. A little bit of this, got a little too much on my brush there. No places to hold this. There we go. So I know if you're just joining me, this looks really sloppy. Sorry. I promise it's going to look good though. <laughs> I am not the neatest painter. I actually don't know what's up with my motor skills today. They're not doing very well. <laughs> I look like a two-year-old painting today. Some people are probably like logging on. If this is the first time you're watching my live video, this is probably not the best one to watch. This is the first one. It's because I'm kind of just doing stupid stuff today. <laughs> Go watch one of my better ones. <laughs> All right. So that's good there on those sides. I'm going to flip this and I'm going to let it dry. I don't think I took a before picture of this. Pretty sure I didn't. All right, so if you're just joining me, oh, I got four at one time. That's awesome. 4.30 must be a bad time to be posting and going live. All right, so I just kind of want to show you guys real quick, since there is a couple of you on here of the cups that I did at the beginning of the video, that is what they look like. They're pretty awesome. So if you wanted to learn how to make those, just go back and rewind on my video and you can watch it. So that's kind of what we did earlier. I gotta still do the inside of that one, so don't judge me. But this one is completely finished. It's perfect. All right. All right. So that tray is pretty much done. It just needs sanded on the outsides, and I'll be posting pictures of them all done, I'm sure, um, after I have this. Because after I finish a project, I'm like instantly I have, to, I have to take a picture. I have to take a nice picture so I can post it and show people. <laughs> um, but if you missed the beginning of this video, that big black and white thing behind me is what I worked on earlier today. It was an old window that one side of the glass was broken out of and the other was still there. So I painted it white, you know, the chalk white, and then I did the regular chalk board on the other window. And the other side of it will hopefully be the chicken wire and I'll be painting that black as well. So stay tuned for that one too. I'll be posting pictures of that as well when it is done. So that's about it. Today was pretty boring. Not, a, not that exciting at all. Um, but if you are just now joining me, then whatever. But you can go back and <laughs> rewind. Um, there was nothing crazy today. It was just kind of my at home doing little things that I had sitting here that were left over from finds that I just never got done. And I will be taking them to um, some craft fairs and stuff like that. So I just wanted to show you guys what I was up to. Um, if you have any questions on this, if you missed it live and you kind of want to go back and you want to view it. Any comments here? It's weird that this, that I haven't had any comments. Let me see. Maybe you're fine.
Okay, but if you have just joined and you're wondering like what happened, you can just go back and rewind and watch it. Um, I am available for questions and everything still. So please, you know, if you have any questions or anything, my dog is getting very angry at me right now. Um, if you have any questions, please just comment and ask and I'll, I'll get back to you and answer them. Um, you guys don't believe me with this dog, but I'm telling you, she's just, she's terrible. She's terrible. Um, come here. You want to say bye? You want to say goodbye to everybody? She is the most needy dog I've ever had in my life. Like, I can't even explain it. I've had like three or four dogs in my whole entire life and she's by far the worst. The worst, <laughs> the worst, neediest dog ever. Okay, so I think she needs out. I'm going to hop off of here. Um, but please... Um, like I said, if you guys have any questions or anything about anything I did on this video, or if you're just now joining, I know I have a couple of people now, <laughs> um, please hop back on and just review it, and um, hopefully I'll get pictures and, and maybe go live later. Alright, we'll see you guys. Thank you so much for watching.